please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Uh, we haven't done with results analysis. Tata Chemicals numbers also uh, came in. It was a mixed bag. Uh, my colleague uh, Priya Shet spoke with our Mukund, the managing director and CEO. Let's listen to that conversation. I, I think it's it's moving well. We've seen that uh, second brand which we had launched, Sampan, has got a terrific uh, customer equity and consumer brand brand pull. And we have uh, expanded the range. We continue to add new products in the portfolio. And each one of our products has been well accepted by the consumers. And we expect over a period of time that this portfolio is only going to expand. Secondly, our focus initially was the e-commerce and the modern trade. And as the strength builds, it's going to also be up selling in the general trade. So we see terrific future going forward in the consumer food space. And uh, India is at an inflection point. Uh, the consumers are moving from loose to packaged, from uh, unbranded to branded. So I think we, we are just catching the wave which is uh, moving forward in terms of the food. And I think uh, having built the expertise both in the lab in R&D center in Pune as well as the distribution network which we have, we see this as a terrific growth engine for us. As far as specialty chemicals concerned, this is something which uh, we've been looking at for a long time. and. Uh, we have had at least two, three new products developed at our innovation center, and the innovation center is going to continue to produce new products. Our first foray is with the uh, nutraceutical and the HDS, and both these plants are pretty much on schedule in terms of commissioning. So by when can we expect 50% of revenues to accrue from these two businesses? So our initial plan was uh, in about uh, three years' time, uh, and uh, depends on how the uh, growth plans uh, move forward. But clearly, I think we are pressing every pedal we can to move in that direction. Red, give us a sense on how uh, revenues or growth from international markets have shaped up in terms of, if you can give us a split between North America and Europe. So North America typically does on an annual basis uh, about uh, 2,500 odd crores and US, US, UK does about 1,500 crores. But in reality, the uh, key, uh, uh, key bottom line driver for us has been the US business. And uh, uh, while UK and Kenya have also contributed, it's been mainly the US which has been a profit driver. And uh, it remains the key part of our portfolio in terms of the uh, chemical business. And uh, we are also investing additional uh, sum anywhere between 50 to $60 million in additional de-bottlenecking projects in the U.S. Give us a sense on the CAPEX then uh, planned for FY19. FY19 should see us uh, spending close to about, uh, on a maintenance uh, capital of about 300 to 400 odd crores and balance uh, another 400 odd crores in terms of the growth CAPEX. Part of that growth capex also would be the investment in nutraceutical and the uh, HDS plant in India. So I expect anywhere between 700 to 800 odd crores of uh, capex, while our normal capex is about 500 crores. Net debt also has uh, been significantly lower and on the consolidated basis. We're seeing it at about 5, 1,500 crore rupees. Uh, going forward, when, what is the trajectory in terms of further bringing this down? So every year it's going to track trend down because uh, mainly because uh, we, we have a good cash engine in the basic chemical business and that's going to help us pay down the debt. And uh, we see that on a consolidated basis too, we will become net debt free very shortly. And I think that time frame is anywhere between three to four, four years. One business that everyone wants to know is on the consumer front, 5,000 crore rupees was the revenue we were targeting in the next three to four years. Have you revised that target upwards? So uh, at, at this point of time, that number still stands. And as the response uh, is, uh, if the response is more positive than what we've done and some of the launches do well, I think it, we will revise it uh, positively in the right direction. And so what would be the new target then? No, I think I'm not willing to sort of say uh, what's the new target, but clearly we see that uh, the portfolio growth, both in pulses, spice, and uh, the salt business continuing their trajectory, and they are well on track to hit that number of 5,000. But as new categories come, they'll be on top of the number which already was highlighted.